Oh, I need a EQ so I can go into my spectral EQs and then go to analog and just choose. Oh, this would be nice. And it's there. Hi guys, welcome again. I'm happy to do this video now and to show you something very cool that I've been wanting to share for a long time. And this is the reason why I mix in Ableton. I managed to get the Elgato Stream Deck to work in a very efficient way as my studio patch bay in Ableton Live. So easy, so fun. I can open whatever reverb I want, EQ, compressor, and I can just run very fast. I don't have to touch the keyboard. I don't even have to touch the mouse. This is a really, really, real pleasure, especially when you're mixing, even when you're producing and you want a quick flanger and you want a quick effect, very easy to do so. Let's dive in. I'm gonna show you all about the magic of Stream Deck and Ableton and how to connect them together. So, how do we do that? Ableton has an ability to save presets of an effect track. That what's special about Ableton in that context is that the effect track is actually an application saved on the hard drive. That means basically that you can find it on your hard drive, double press a button and Ableton actually launch from that preset. So in Stream Deck, what you can do is load with Stream Deck that effect track. Then you can just launch that effect track and that's the way we do it. You put a picture of your plugin and then boom, you got it. It's very easy. I'm gonna show you how it's done. In the upper section, the Elgato Stream Deck editor and video of my Stream Deck in action, plus Ableton Live. First of all, in order to save a preset of the EQ, for example, that I want to put in my folder in Stream Deck, what I need to do is first is to group it. You can do it in two ways. One is to right click it and then group. The other one is to press Command G. And then you can press the little hard drive down there and then it automatically make a saving options. You give it a name, I'm gonna give it EQ of Tom. Then right click to see where it is in the hard drive. I go to the Elgato Stream Deck. I make an open application. I drag EQ of Tom into the app file in Stream Deck, take a snapshot of the plugin itself. In Mac it's Command Shift 4, Command Shift 4. And then I drag the photo into Stream Deck and then I can edit the name EQ Tom. Just to check if it's work also. Press and boom, it's open. Now I want to show you a little bit of inspiration how I organize my deck and inside I have them sorted out. Basically I have the spectral for the EQs, dynamic, effects, where it's in the effects I have everything. I can go into reverbs and then I have the list of my reverbs. I can go into delay, I have the list of my delay. I have uh, modulation, all my flangers and all the modulation effects. So the dynamic section, I have the, my go-to compressors and then I have limiters, the ether folders for the de -ether. and then I have analog, and I can even have like different pages, so you're not you're not even limited. My EQ section I have analog, and then I also have just the, the regular ones. I even have them organized by companies. I have Fab Filter, I have Sound Toys, I have Black Rooster. Basically, I have everything I need organized in that way. And every time I get a new plugin, it takes me like less than a minute to set it up with a photo, and then it's there. And this is why I use Ableton to mix. It's just really speeding up my workflow. I love Ableton, but it's not necessarily my go-to mixing DAW in a way. I much prefer the layout in Logic, for example, but until Logic will have the ability to run these things through Stream Deck, Ableton is my go-to. If you like my content and if you enjoy this video and if you want to keep in touch and you want to be with me on this musical creation journey where I share my insights, I share my love for the game, I share my setup and everything I do, hit a like, subscribe, and let's keep in touch. I wish you all great musical creation. Keep doing your thing. Just do it for yourself. Let the music come through. Let the true expression, music has the ability to release our truth. Hear yourself and see yourself and reflect yourself and keep in touch and leave a comment if you like this video. I appreciate you watching and I wish you a great musical creation journey. Peace and out, enjoy life. Does anybody know what
wishing for When the light hits the furniture